I put it slightly differently. What is his responsibility uh, and what uh, if there was and, and you know, allocating uh, responsibility is, uh, you know, his, I'll let history do that. So what you just heard there was Joe Biden earlier today on MSNBC with Brian Williams and Brian Williams asked Biden if he feels that there's any way to criticize Donald Trump or hold Donald Trump responsible for the current health crisis and how it has affected people. It was a softball question to Biden designed to allow him to look presidential and criticizing Donald Trump. And despite all of that, Joe Biden failed. He not only failed to provide a good answer, an effective answer, but he failed to provide an answer, period. Because what you just heard there was a series of incoherent ramblings more than an answer to any actual question. And that's not edited or decontextualized to make Biden look bad. That is the real deal Joe Biden that we've been seeing time and time and time again over the past few weeks especially. We see a man whose cognitive decline or dementia or whatever you want to call it is showing that he is unequipped to defeat Donald Trump. He's unequipped for the rigors of a presidential campaign. And if by some miracle he wins the election, he won't be equipped to serve as president day in and day out. That's what we've been seeing more and more and more lately. And again, I have to underline this. MSNBC is the very sort of network that loves Joe Biden. MSNBC is not a network of the left, but they're not a Republican leaning source. They really do exist to promote centrist Democrats, neoliberal Democrats, Democrats who are nominally progressive sounding on some issues, but fundamentally represent the corporate elite. That's Joe Biden, and that's the rest of the Democratic Party that's lining up behind Joe Biden. And so when Biden goes on MSNBC, he really does get questions designed specifically to make him look good and attack his opponents effectively. And if he can't even do that with home field advantage that comes along with being on a pro-Biden network like MSNBC, what's it going to look like when he goes on more critical networks? What's it going to look like when he goes on even neutral networks? What's it going to look like in debates and in other forms of public engagement where he cannot control his audience, he cannot control his message, and the people that are asking the questions aren't friendly to him. It's not going to look good at all. Joe Biden here is demonstrating that fundamentally he does not have the ability to do the job of effective campaigning when it comes to a general election. In this Democratic primary campaign, he sort of campaigned by hiding. He was basically invisible for much of the campaign, and then everyone coalesced around him. He got a big delegate lead, and then he went back to hiding again. And now he wants to hide away from Bernie Sanders, saying in no circumstances does he want to debate Bernie. He says we've had enough debates. So this is a man who's won by hiding thus far, but it shows that the more and more the campaign goes on, the closer and closer we get to the actual general election, the less and less effective the hiding is going to be. And there's other things here too, guys. I mean, some people will say, well, maybe Joe Biden got confused reading his notes. This is something similar to what happened the last time he was on MSNBC a couple nights ago, where he sort of got confused transitioning from the discussion to his notes. But I have to ask, why does Joe Biden even need notes? for this sort of interview. He knows it's a home field advantage interview. He knows it's MSNBC. They're going to give him softballs. I wouldn't be surprised if he had a general sense for the questions being asked going in. I have done tons of interviews here on YouTube and on mainstream media, and I have never, I repeat, never ever had notes in front of me to do a media interview. I get debates. Debates are very long. The questions are coming fast and furious. I totally get it. But on an interview, the fact that you're getting a question like this and you feel you need to look down to your cue cards shows me that Biden is probably in bigger trouble with regard to his mental cognitive abilities than we even think because he can't even remember what he's been told to say. Maybe Biden doesn't have his own viewpoints right now. 
Maybe Biden is scared to actually speak his mind because he knows when he speaks his mind, he gets into trouble. So his whole shtick is to stick to the cue cards, stick to the script, stick to the prepared responses that his PR people and his communications people and the DNC elite have told him to say with regard to each and every question. Which is why when you see Joe Biden in these supposed, you know, discussion interviews, he's almost always glancing down at a piece of paper or over at some cue cards because he's not speaking for himself right now. That's not a leader. That's a man who's a follower. He's following unaccountable people behind him and he's not even doing a good job of it at all. And you have to compare this to another video this afternoon. Bernie Sanders went on to The View today. And if you listen to their promo, their promo was about how Bernie is spoiling the race to help get Donald Trump elected, how he's trying to exploit the current health crisis to push his agenda. And the interview itself was all about how Bernie Sanders hurt Hillary Clinton in 2016. People like Whoopi Goldberg spent most of the interview attacking Bernie Sanders rather than actually interviewing him. And yet Bernie still looked much better than Joe Biden has in months, if not years. Because even though Biden gets softball interviews on MSNBC and looks horrible, Bernie goes into hostile arenas, does his job, promotes his message, looks sharp, and gets out of there with his dignity intact and with the reality that he reached people that wouldn't have normally heard him. We saw Bernie do that when he went on the Fox News town hall, and we saw that when he went on The View, which is, again, a source that is predominated by people who you might say are supportive of the Democratic Party's neoliberal elite, certainly not in the camp of Bernie Sanders and other progressives. So that's a tale of two interviews today. You have Joe Biden not able to hit a softball question, and you have Bernie Sanders going into the lion's den and winning new converts to his ideology. When you have to think about what's going to serve you better in the general election, I have to believe that somebody willing to go onto a TV show or a network that you know is going to be hostile is a much better reflection of what it takes to win in November than somebody that can't even do well when they're talking to friends. Joe Biden, I don't care what the polls say, is not positioning himself to win in November. And Bernie Sanders, despite the fact that, yes, his path to victory in the primary is narrower than we would like it to be, is still in the race. He's not spoiling it for Joe Biden to help elect Donald Trump. Bernie Sanders is still fighting a credible campaign to help the American working and middle class. And once he defeats Joe Biden, he will be the only one who can go on and defeat Donald Trump.